Nord Stream is a pair of offshore natural gas pipelines in Europe that run under the Baltic Sea from Russia to Germany. It comprises the Nord Stream 1 pipeline running from Viborg in northwestern Russia near Finland and the Nord Stream 2 pipeline running from Usluga in northwestern Russia near Estonia. Both pipelines run to Lubman in the northeastern Germany. Each pipeline comprises two pipes. Denoted A and B, each of the four pipes is approximately 1,200 km long and with approximate diameters of 1.220 mm. The combined capacity of the four pipes is 110 billion cubic meters per annum of the natural gas. The name Nord Stream sometimes refers to a larger pipeline network that includes the feeding on shore pipeline in Russia and additional connection in Western Europe. These Nord Stream projects have faced opposition from some Central and Eastern European countries, as well as the United States, due to concerns that the pipeline would increase Russia's influence in Europe and results in a reduction of transit fees for the use of existing pipelines in the Central and Eastern European countries. Europe requires more than 100 billion cubic meters of natural gas each year. Part of this requirement is a supply through the 1.224 kilometers long European gas pipeline. It exports natural gas from Yuzhno Ruskoye oil and gas deposits with the Leningrad region of Russia to Germany. The project consists of 12 pipelines with a combined capacity of 55 billion cubic meters a year. Construction on the first pipeline commenced in April 2010 and was completed in June 2011. Construction of the second line began in May 2011 and was completed in April 2012. The first pipeline, which has a capacity to transmit around 57.5 billion cubic meters of gas, started transporting natural gas from Russia to Germany in November 2011. The second line with a transmission capacity or 27.5 billion cubic meters, commenced operation in October 2012. Commercial gas delivers beginning in November 2012.
The onshore section of NCGP in Russia is nearly 917 kilometers long. The remainder is in marine gas pipeline, which lies under the Baltic Sea, from Port Volvaya Bay to the coast of Germany. Marine gas pipelines were used to gas supplies to countries including the UK, Finland or Sweden. It exports natural gas from Yuzhnorskoye, oil and gas deposits with the Leningrad region of Russia to Germany. The Yuzhnorskoye field has estimated gas reserves of more than 1 trillion cubic meters, including 700 billion cubic meters of proven reserves. The field was developed at an estimated cost of 1 billion euros. NCGP is also fed with additional gas supplies from the field of Yamal Peninsula, Optas Bay and Stokomanovskoye. Initially, the gas transportation began through the first pipeline with a capacity of 27.5 billion cubic meters a year. Commissioning of a second pipeline takes the NCGPS combined gas supply capacity of 55 billion cubic meters a year. Each pipeline is one 0.224 km long. With Gazprom starting the construction works, the first 100 km of gas pipeline on the Leningrad region were laid by mid-2006. Diameter of the pipe is 1.220 mm, the wall thickness 38 mm, and the working pressure 220 bars. There is a service platform in the Swedish economic zone, 19 kilometers to the northeast of the Gotland Island. The size of the platform is 30 meters by 30 meters, and it stands approximately 35 meters above sea. The platform is used for the maintenance and service of the pipeline, including launch and a reception of the testing and diagnostic equipment, control of gas parameters and a placement of isolation equipment. How are subsea gas pipeline built? Sea can go several kilometers deep. Laying a pipe of the bottom is a challenge. However, 6,000 kilometers of pipelines are laid on the bottom of the North Sea, some of which have been there for 40 years already. Searching for obstacles, subsea gas pipeline account for 45% of natural gas export to Europe. Seabed is carefully surveyed along its entire road before laying the gas pipeline. Specialists must identify all potential obstacles including sun ships, ammunition and simply large boulders. These obstacles are either removed by bypassed. At this stage specialists identify location where the pipeline should be buried or backfilled.
floating houses. Pipes are laid on the seabed by special pipe laying vessels. Pipe laying vessels are huge floating platforms which can accommodate several hundreds of people at a time. As a rule, several vessels participate in the process of the pipe laying. Special barge continuously supply pipes to a pipeline vessels, which is preceded by a vessel monitoring the seabed. The supplied pipes are unloaded on storage sites located directly on the deck of the pipeline vessel. They should have a stock of pipes for 12 hours of work. Special conveyor is installed on the pipeline vessel, which receives pipes that are welded here as well. Each welded joint and then ultrasonically tested for defects. Anti-corrosion coating is applied to all joints after welding. Welded pipes are moving over the conveyor towards the aft. Stinger a special boom immersed in the water at an angle, over which the pipes are gradually lowered onto the seabed. It's located here. It defends the required deflection of the top part of the gas pipeline, which prevents metal deformation.